So, 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 so this, is, this, is, this is the reason why the Crusaders yeah. killed innocent men, women and children. So you've got this innocent thing. No, 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 no. Okay, no problem. Did Crusaders... You're assuming the rest Okay, okay. Is a... Okay, when God's judgment passes that babies, children, women yeah. and men and donkeys yeah. should be killed, do you believe that's okay? That's God's judgment. Do you believe that's okay? Yes, I do. Okay, good. If I uttered that statement, yeah. I'll be in God's turn Bay right now. Right. First class ticket. Right. Boom, I'm gone. But you can easily say that. Me, as a Muslim, in our religion, we do not believe that innocent okay. babies, women, children, yeah. even men, yeah. be they Christian or Jew, it doesn't matter. Yeah. If they have not done anything, they, are, they should not be killed. So it's very simple. But you are claiming that the all love in Jesus Right? God's allowed to judge as well. Okay, is so Jesus Bible, all loving? Yeah, but hang, one second. God, God said, the Bible no says God is love, but God also is the judge, and he hates us as well. So he no has problem. the right yeah. to do just judgment. So then Jesus is not all loving then? He is. God is all loving. Okay, how does an all loving God okay. kill a baby, a child, okay. an innocent man, yeah. and a donkey, or a, okay. or a woman? Can you tell me how all loving fits that's into that? His, that's God's judgment on a wicked Okay, nation. so he's not all loving then? He is, yeah. You can't say all loving. No, he is, because oh, they, they were threatening his inheritance. His okay, people. so he's not all right. loving. No, he is. So does he hate the disbelievers? Does he hate this? No, he loves everybody. One second. How do you love a group of people who are disbelievers and are fighting against God, yeah, and kill them? How do you love that? Can you tell me how, right. when, we know when Moses was killing the babies? Yeah. To your story. Which, which passage is that you're in uh, First Samuel chapter 15, verse 2 to 3, yeah? When this was happening, where is the love in that? You know, when he's getting the babies and he's killing them. No problem. I'm saying to you, where is the love in that? Tell, tell me, Ali, the part where he cuts the head off is the love. Tell me, where is the love? Well, it's simple. All we have to do is go back to the flood story again. Simple. Okay, you told okay, me the story. They were killing the Israel, right. Israelites' children. Do you know when the flood came? Let's just understand yes. this. Yes. Right? Men, women, children, Everybody. animals. I agree. Gone. Yes, right. yes. So that's so. What? Why do you have a problem with God killing men, women, and children through a flood? Yeah. When it comes to a human being yeah. executing God's yeah. just judgment, yeah. you've got a problem with it. I don't get that. Because firstly, understand. firstly, God's just, judgment is just that's what and I'm it's perfect. Right. So when God applies that yeah. by killing nations, yeah. as a Muslim, I have no problem with that because yeah, that happened. Right? No, 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 no. Right? But still, when they pass away, they're going to go to paradise. Yeah, but that's not about where they're going. No, 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 no. But I'm trying to make a right, this yeah, distinction yeah, cool. between the two. Okay. One is God destroying nations. Right. So I, I said if God was to destroy the UK, the God's not going to spare the Muslims. Okay. Everybody's going down. Yeah. But everyone will be raised up based on their intention. Okay. That is not the same as God ordering ethics of war. Okay. Now in ethics of war, when God enables the killing of men, women and children, yeah. Crusaders is a fine example where they read their own Bible and yeah. they say, hold on a second, God destroyed Amalekite yeah. and his judgment was just. Right. So therefore they implemented that when they were pillaging and uh, taking over land, they were right. killing indiscriminately, okay. which shows what? Their judgment is not just and perfect, but they look at their Bible and say, hold on a second, God has allowed Moses to do that. Mm. So when we go and conquer lands, yeah. we should do the same thing. That's why when Salahuddin al Ayyubi, when he conquered, yeah. and they thought he's going to do the same, he said no. Because in Islam, it does not teach us to kill innocent men, women and children. So the point I'm trying to make to you is that. Well, God never said to the Crusaders, because you remember Samuel's a prophet of God, right? And yes. he received revelation from God. Yes. The Crusaders were doing it off their own back. No revelation from God. No, no, but where were they learning it from? Right. Well, the wrong and army. No, no, but okay. where were they learning it from? Where were they getting that from? I don't know. The Bible. Okay. The, the Bible is the guidance. When they read the Bible and they say, hold on a second, in the, Mal the Malachites, God enabled us to do A, B, C, D, E, therefore I'm going to do the same thing. Now, any Muslim that goes, for example, and kills innocent people, we say, hold on a second, where did you get this from? Because your scripture doesn't tell you to do this. The Bible so, so, so you, I'm not saying you, Christians yeah. are more prone, I would yeah. say, and we've seen that in nation, if we look at statistics, Christianity, Christians have been the one of the ones that have caused the biggest atrocities. And I'm talking about 125 million people have been killed at their hands. Yeah, Islam is actually right at the bottom. If you look at some statistics in history, atheists, Christians are at the top, top two. So when anybody comes to us, I'm just trying to make an argument. Anybody comes to Muslims and says, oh, your religion says kill the infidels wherever you find them. Oh, I don't, never like Jada that. did uh, in Britain first, uh, you know, she got refuted. She's like uh, coming I out of the place and you're crying. No, 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 I'm, I'm not saying you do. I'm saying when others come to me with that, and I'm like, well, hold on a second, mate, know your history. And in, and in the Bible, it tells you that God ordered 
Amalekah has to be wiped yeah. off. So the Crusaders, I believe, are following suit. You believe that? Okay, that's fine. You can believe that. That's what yeah. I'll just want to show you the scripture in, sure. in Exodus 17, verse 16. Yeah. It says, For he said, Because the Lord has sworn, the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Yes, yes. Right. So from every generation, yeah. he's going to have war with the Amalekites. Yes. And that poses a threat yes. to his chosen people, the Israelites, yes. right? Yes. Because the Amalekites were attacking his people yeah. Yeah. without warning, yes. killing their children. Yes. They were doing evil in the sight of the Lord. Yes, I agree. Right. So that's the reason why God destroyed yes. the Amalekites. Yes. Because he knew that that yeah. generation, which you call innocent babies, women and children, yeah. he knew that he would have war with them and they pose a threat to his people. Yeah. And that's why he said destroy them as a nation. It's his just judgment. He is protecting his people. And that is a just God. But that's, that's, the, a loving but that's, God. But that's the thing, that's not loving God. No, <laughs> Hell no. So are you telling me if you was in the army, you would carry out those actions? Sorry? If you was in the army, would you carry if out I those was actions? A prophet of God. Not prophet of God. If you was right. in the army of the prophet yes. of God, if would I you carry was, out those if, actions? If I was in the army, yeah. right, me personally, I don't know. I don't know. No, don't say I don't know. I'd probably don't say I don't know. No, 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 you would. You would have to. If you yeah. obeyed by God's law, you would. Right. Ask me the same question. Okay. You, you probably say the opposite. I'm you know what? I say the opposite. Because yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells in the Surah Baqarah, verse 190, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. that when you fight them, yeah. do not transgress. Transgress, what even Kathir and other Mufassirin understand, is you do not, just because I can't say, Tony Blair went to Iraq and killed innocent men, women and children, Muslims, yes. one million. Yeah. I know, I'm going to go on the streets and start stabbing innocent non-Muslims. Yeah. No, because they're not my teachers. You, they're not my teachers. Okay. I cannot go and say they did that to me, yeah, yeah. therefore I do that to them. Yeah. In Islam, it's not allowed because how could you go and take retribution of an innocent person walking down the road that had nothing to do with it? Yeah. So as a Muslim, I'm saying this, it's actually quite ironic actually because he would have expected me to be saying what he's saying, but it's actually the opposite. And that's the problem. That's why the Crusaders went and killed innocent men, women, and children. I, I don't agree with that's for that reason. Anyway. I don't but that's what we get. No, no, you don't. But that's no. where they took that from. Okay. Okay. And you cannot say you cannot agree or disagree with them. Because I said to you, if you was in the Prophet's army, you would have done the same thing. Well, it's yes. one of them, isn't it? There you uh, go. Look, it's one of them. I can never say it's one of them. Oh, I'm going to kill a few babies. It's one no, of those, no. you know, well, a man will get locked up in two seconds. We're, we're talking about a different time. We're not talking still, about today. Still, still irrelevant. Do you see the dangers? We're talking about. That's dangerous. Yeah, but we're talking about a land that God has given to yeah. a certain group of people. Yeah. We've gone into that land provided by the Lord. Still. And then these, the Amicalites are not innocent, by the way. I'm, not, I'm, saying, that, I'm no, saying it's not, not justified. Look, you can fight the fighting men. Don't get it twisted. Look, you can fight the fighting men. Yeah. You can go and fight the fighting men. Yeah. But to go and target the women and the children and the elderly and no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm saying there is no justification. Okay. So if you're a prophet of God and the Lord commands you to do something. We believe God Almighty right. will not command such a thing. Right. We have the story of Khidr yeah. where he actually did kill a boy. Okay. Yeah, and but we believe some say he was a, a very righteous person or a prophet. Yeah. But he had foresight of the future that God right. gave him. And he killed a boy because he yeah. said that boy is going to transgress against his parents. This is an isolated situation yeah. and he had the foresight. Yeah. But I can't go and say, I think these people, these kids are going to be bad when they grow up. No, I don't no, even no, kill them. Says that. No, 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 no. Where, this is the point. How God do you know God no. says that? God said it. So we're saying, how do you know God says that? Because it's written in the scriptures. Okay, okay this is where we disagree. Yeah, fine. I believe there's no justification. Okay. That's fine. But you can't take the right from God away to judge. The one who gives life has the right to take it. In a just way, correct? in a just way. Yeah, but you can't say, I don't think God is no, just. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. that about I never said that. I could say no, that. no, I never said that. I know you did, I'm saying God's judgment, judgment yeah. is perfect. Exactly. And but I a man is not. Judgment. Crusaders implemented talking, Crusaders yeah. implemented what yeah. God commanded in the Bible and yeah. they took the innocent life of innocent people okay. when they pillaged well, towns I, I and villages. Where well, they did. If you come to Telford on yeah. the 29th, what would you bring to the table? Listen, if I, for me not to come to Telford, if I look, firstly, yeah. I, um, uh, from what I know, yeah, what happened in Telford, what happened everywhere. Okay, let me make this very clear. Okay, as a human being, it would be a disgrace for me. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know you're recorded, don't worry about that. I'm making it very categorically clear. I'm not here to do taqiyya because I'm a Sunni. She has to do taqiyya, I don't, yeah? I'm making it very categorically clear. They are like my daughters. It's like as good as my daughters being taken advantage of and whatever happens by these gangs. Yes. And people like you not standing up. Would you stand up if it was my daughter? I probably would, yeah. Okay, do you think I would if it was your daughter? I hope you would. I definitely would. I so I my that. aim is to try to come to Telford because it is a issue that concerns me. It's not she's white, 
yeah. or she's this. I don't care what color she is. Yeah. Is she a is she a daughter of somebody? Yes. Is she an innocent child? Yeah. I don't give a damn if she's green, blue, yellow. I don't care. So I want you to be very categorically clear and know this that I would come to Telford. My only concern is that if I show my face, they're going to think I'm coming there to make trouble. Right. So I would cover this story, but I just want to make it very clear. This has nothing to do with Islam. I've repeated it many times, and recent studies released from the government that show this as well. I would come there, but I know, like, if I do come there, there might be people that don't like me, yeah, and they might come and try to attack me. I don't want to cause disorder. I don't want them to think I'm coming there. I would cover it in my way, maybe on my YouTube channel, in a different way. But anybody that's genuinely concerned, you should be concerned whoever is done by. We shouldn't be like, oh, it's a Muslim, I'll give you extra attention. Was it a white guy? Oh, I won't come. So we should be consistent throughout. And believe me, if somebody gave me some security, I'll be in Telford. It's as simple as that, you know? Other than that, I just want you to be very categorically clear, as Muslims, they are our children, they are our daughters. I know many people listen to this gonna be like, Saki, I don't give a damn, I've got nothing to prove to you. I don't give a crap. I know, if I know that a white girl is being groomed, or from by a white guy or an Asian guy or a Muslim, I don't give a damn. I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's a white girl. Let's turn a blind eye. I'm a human being, I'm not an animal. I will hate it and I will do everything in my power to stop that. So I wanna make that category declare. And yeah, that's it. And you know, I, I, it's disgusting. Whoever it's happened to, yeah? Whoever it's happened to, let's not make it a situation, Muslim, non-Muslim. It's an issue that as British people, it concerns us because that could have been my daughter. So that's what I have to say. Thank you, Ali. Oh, thank pleasure. You, no problem, thank you. I'll show you this as well. Mate. Appreciate it. No problem, man. Thank you. It's a pleasure. If Tommy comes, tell him Ali said hi, yeah? <laughs> so, this is Dushman in 25 verse 7. He yeah. says, This is what God says. Remember what the Amicalites did to you along the way yes. when you came out of Egypt. Yeah. When you were weary and worn yeah. out, they yes. met you on your journey yes. and attacked all who were lagging behind. 100%. They had I, no fear of God. I, I understand. You know, okay. I know what they did. Okay. I know what they did. Okay. From the, but based on that story. So, the Lord gives. But, gives you rest from your enemies. hundred percent, but what I'm saying is it doesn't justify. No, it fight does. the fighting men. Totally. Look, if you wrong me, I'll fight yeah. you. I'm not going to go for your children. But the Lord, you, God says... I'm not going to go said, for your children. Look, I'm telling you, you're telling that. me you go for my kids, well, I'm saying your, I won't go for yours. Well, that's your morality, right? Not my morality, it's, it's, about, it's not my morality. We're talking about God's judgment. This is way bigger Firstly, than our morality we, or anyone else's. Firstly, we need to even establish if the Bible is a word of God for his morality. If it's not from God, then this whole thing falls on the floor. So. Basically, I, 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 I agree with God's judgment. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. No, you can describe But that, that, makes, you, that makes you dangerous. That means no, if, really. if, if, if something like this will happen, you're going to come for my kids and no, children. No, don't be silly. I won't do that. No, you have to. What do you no, mean you'll do that? It's God's, no, it's God's judgment. How could you say, don't be silly? Your scripture said that. Yeah, and that's that, why Crusaders, well, when they pillaged towns, the day, they killed innocent men, women, and children because they're looking at the story of Malachi and thinking, you know, these people might grow up to, let's no, expose no, all of them. We're not commanded as Christians to go and kill. No problem. It was a nice discussion. Yeah, thank you. I need to pray. I'm so sorry. All right, no